Where do I get GIMP? Enter GIMP.org into the address line of your web browser. You'll find the main page for the GIMP project. All information can be found here. In this example, we are looking up the download link for the Windows version. Just click download at the menu on the right side. You can choose the Windows installer. The software is hosted on sourceforge.net, so don't be confused if you are redirected to this page. The download is very fast indeed. That's because GIMP is only a few megabytes in size. How do I install GIMP? The file that you've downloaded can be started with a double click, but you have to be logged in as an administrator to install it. If you are working as a restricted user, just right-click the icon and choose Start As. Now you can enter your admin credentials to install the software without logging out. I don't start GIMP right away, but I have already copied a shortcut to my desktop. GIMP is also available in your program folder like any other program that you have installed. To find out what is the current version of GIMP that you are using, just select About in the Help menu. How do I work with GIMP? Using GIMP is not hard at all. You can create a new picture if you choose File New in the main window. You'll find some useful templates for predefined sizes. For now let's choose 640 by 480 pixels. In Advanced Options you can choose how the image should be filled. Let's try Transparency for a transparent picture. To paint something in your picture, choose a paintbrush. From the options, you can select your preferred type of brush, for example, a calligraphic one. If you change the scale value, you can select the size of your brush. Let's make it a little bigger right now. Checking the Fade Out option will simulate a real brush with color. If you drag your brush along the paper, the color will disappear after a while. Apply Jitter adds another artistic effect. Now let's open an existing picture. You can do that using File Open. The Open dialog shows all your storage places like hard drives or the desktop on the left side. I'm opening my desktop and a folder with textures. As soon as you click on an image file, GIMP automatically creates a preview on the right side. This may take a few seconds. If it's not working, you can force the preview creation by clicking on the preview button. 
some digital cameras save a color profile with a file. In this case, just click on Convert to let GIMP convert it to RGB color profile. Let's try the Smudge tool. Use the calligraphic pen and a scale of about 4. You can use the slider or type in the number in the text field. Scale can be in a range from 0.01 to 10. The Smudge tool has another option like Fade Out and Apply Jitter that you know already from the Paintbrush tool. You can also change the rate to make the smudge effect less or more destructive.